In other news tonight, a graphic image of a young woman in New Brunswick bleeding from what she claims is vaping-related side effects has gone viral. Tonight, new warnings from Health Canada calling on all users of e-cigarettes to seek medical attention if they feel sick. Live now to CTV's Mike Arcelides with more. Mike. Good evening, Stefan. Caroline Samako says she's been vaping for less than three years. The 18-year-old thought she was going to die on Thursday when blood started spewing from her throat minutes after vaping at school. A warning some of the images in this report may be disturbing. People are scared. They are getting scared. Caroline Samakos knew something was wrong. I couldn't breathe at all. I fully thought I was going to die. It was terrifying. Two trips to the hospital complaining of a persistent cough. Doctors found nothing wrong, telling the 18-year-old she likely had a viral infection. Then Thursday, a third medical emergency. I was in the middle of class and then I just had two massive coughs. And I could just feel like blood like coming up through my throat. Samakos made it to the washroom, taking this picture, which has since gone viral. I didn't want this problem to happen to other people. Olivia Guerra of Barhaven shared the photo on Twitter to show the world what happened to her cousin's best friend. Blood everywhere. She says it's from vaping using a product called Jules which contains a higher concentration of nicotine than average e-cigarettes. The hospital is trying to contact her now ever since they saw the tweet. The pictures racked up more than 80,000 likes and nearly 60,000 retweets. Some of the comments to the tweet from Vapors caught her by surprise. They're just saying, oh, like, it's just, it's just her or... It's just a one-off, maybe I'm going to keep vaping. Those in the industry selling these fruit-flavored products say they don't have much information about the ills they cause to those who use them. Still, parents out there are warning their children until more information comes out. It's best to err on the side of caution and not use them. These kids cannot, be, uh, cannot have access to this product as easy as they do. Caroline saying her younger brother in seventh grade is being offered these products by classmates. The legal age to buy them is 19. She started at 16. It's easy to get them. If you have money, you can ask people to get them. Gara saying she wants everyone to see what <laughs> vaping can do. It makes me feel sick because with cigarettes before, um, people didn't had no idea what was going to happen. It took years for them to find out what was going to happen. Samakos recovering having tossed her jewels in the trash. No, 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 no. I can't, I will never smoke anything ever again. I'm done. The Samakos family wants all parents to talk to their kids about vaping and the government to crack down on these products they say are getting kids hooked and now sick. Katie. A very important conversation to have. CTV's Mike Arcelides reporting live for us tonight. Thank you, Mike.